Hey, we're doing. You say hi. You say hi. You say hi. What are you doing? What are you doing, my boy? What are you doing? What you doing? Hey, oh, the sunshine got you. You like it? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah.
the jumpy boy. baby say, huh? What the baby say?
and do another set of burpees and, and then let's go take a walk. Sound good? Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Go. Yes, sir. Uh, just gonna take a walk, huh? Just gonna take a little walk. A little walkie and a talkie. Here you go. Get that covered up on you. Uh, here you go. Do a little walkie and a talkie, huh? Yeah. All right, we out here. Yeah, so I've been switching the burpee style up from just the straight pumps to the the squats and the jumps because it just feels good. You know, I got to the point where then I want to slow down my push-ups, make sure I have good form, make sure I'm really contracting those muscles. Make sure I like feel the control. 
and get a good range of motion in the push-ups. And then I'm just like, yeah, I just tried some with the squat jumps. I'm like, man, it just feels so much more intense. Like I obviously don't have that control there. So something I want to work on. It just feels really good. It's challenging. I can only do like 10 of them. And then I'm like, my legs hurt. So, you know, that's a weak spot I need to work on. So that's what I'm doing. You know, cause I could just, you know, I could just keep doing five pump burpees. And here recently, you know, I got the baby and everything. Um, I don't always have just like an hour or an hour and a half to sink into a, a burpees workout, you know, definitely not every day, maybe just a few times a week. Plus I'm still doing the group sessions, you know, every night at eight, spend a, about an hour uh, on a Zoom call doing burpees with the crew. And that's really great, you know, that's something I don't really want to give up. You know, a lot of guys show up there. Like, it's it's been pretty good. We've had like 10 and 12 guys, you know, showing up to do the burpees. And uh, Sunday we're doing the Thor's Hammer. Probably every Sunday till the end of March. So this month, I've been doing it since January. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I just don't, you know, I used to do like a thousand one pumps every so often, 500 Navy SEALs, you know, and then have uh, other sessions like 501 pumps. And, you know, some people are able to get after it every single day, and that's really awesome. And I'm not going to say I couldn't if it was really a top priority for me to do 500 one pumps a day or, you know, I could do that. But I guess just being honest is not a really a top priority. And for me, it's just like, well, I can do one pumps, you know? Now, why do, you know, I can do 105 pumps. We, just the other day we did it in the group, but it's like, you know, why not just focus on my push-up form and control and do plyo push-ups, you know? But yeah, just thinking out loud, man, the really, just really glad that just really kind of grateful to myself that I decided to start on, you know, fitness. And what I'm doing, it really works for me. You know, some people power lift and some people body build and some people swim and hike and you know, I do burpees at my house. And uh, just feels good, man. And so really I wanted to do this video to say like, here's a daily reminder to uh, get some fresh air, to get outside, feel the sunshine. And uh, yeah, it feels good, man. Got the baby out here, I know he's enjoying it. He's been getting outside uh, every day as long as the weather's nice, so. It's a little bit breezy out here. No, but I've got them bundled up pretty good. It's not really warm. It's like uh, 54 degrees or something, I think, when I came outside. 54 Fahrenheit, so, you know, for those outside of the U.S., that's uh, it's a little below, it's below room temperature. It's not cold. You know?
But yeah, man, if you're actually watching this up to this point, you know, much love to you. Thanks for listening. But yeah, man, I'm just kind of to the point where uh, I just want to try kind of different things. Just kind of like my mindset is shifting. My goals are shifting about fitness. I really see that it, it really is just to feel good. You know, I have a little bit of extra weight on me right now. And, um, you know, I don't feel super compelled to just shred like I did when I first started, you know, um, I do, I do want to lose that a little bit, but, um, in my mind, it's, it's not such a, it's not such a symbol anymore. It's, it really is more about, about just how I feel and how I feel about myself. And some of the guys that come to the burpee group are fucking shredded, you know? And that's that's really cool and it, and it motivates me. Some of them got shredded and never took any back steps, you know? And that's awesome. Personally, I don't necessarily, I feel like I have taken back steps. You know, but it's, it's with the discipline, you know, it's just about discipline. And I think things kind of like come and go in phases. So I have this structure in my life. I've built this structure in my life now over the past two and a half years you know, of, of, I have a generally, uh, a standard diet that I eat now. I have pretty much a standard exercise routine that I follow now. Oh, heads up. Good luck. But, um, yeah, so I've built this structure into my life. And so, you know, this phase, whether it is a back step or not, it's still a leap forward from where I was three years ago, you know? It's still, a, it's still a huge improvement from where I was three years ago, just like drinking and smoking and playing video games all day and, uh, you know, getting into arguments with my wife and yelling at my daughter and shit like that, you know? And just eating like fast food and whatever's easiest and frozen dinners and shit like that so it's a totally new life compared to that but I do, obviously I do see areas where I could make improvements anyways I'm going to turn this off and probably make like a short video make like a little clip that I can post on my socials alright y'all much love peace